Oh boy. The misshapen moon in orbit. That's what huh? controls the markers. It's the end state of these creatures. Or rather, it would have been. You see, the natives of this planet constructed a machine that froze the moon in mid formation. But it wasn't enough. Even half formed, the moon's marker signal speaks to the markers back home. And it doesn't end there. There is a network of brethren moons spanning the stars. As each one well, completes, this is going to be not scary this underneath my poutine. Making them aware. If this moon should complete, its brothers will all come looking for food. But there is hope. The natives never finished configuring the machine. It wasn't meant to merely freeze the moon. It was meant to destroy it. You'll need the codex. It is the key to unlocking this machine and reconfiguring it. Follow my trail into the heart of the machine and end this nightmare. Carver, did you hear that? The machine could crush the moon. It just needs to be properly configured. What about Danik? Stopping Danik won't be enough. We need to get that codex back. It's the key to reconfiguring the machine. But Serrano's locked the passage using some kind of alien glyphs. I'm going to look for a way to bypass it. Wait, I did it? <laughs> uh. <clears throat> well, that was new. I solved that puzzle by accident. I mean, I'm the smartest. I did that purely based off my own intellect. Purely. <clears throat> my god. Holy shit. This must be ground zero. And that must be the machine. So I guess this is it, huh? Yeah. This is it. I need you to promise me something. When we get out of this, you're gonna love me like it. her, right? You'll get this done, right? We'll get this done, Carver. You and me. Yeah, but if I don't... I helped get us this far. And that's close enough for all this to count, right? Count for what? For... I don't know. Just... All the bad I've done. I'll oh, shut up, Carl. <laughs> that's gonna You're be one of these pity parties. I alienated my son. Wrecked my family. Isaac, I killed Santos. Is that what a good man does? Good men mean well. You just don't always end up doing well. Yeah. Hey. I'm sorry about Ellie, man. I still don't know why he didn't use telekinesis to get Ellie the fuck out of there. That made no Me sense too. at all. <laughs> Too late. Well, I mean, you guys are having a pep talk. Let's go get that codex. Come on! Yeah. I have these paths. They join up with Danix up ahead. Try to slow him down. I'll find another way. Danix, you have to stop. Isaac, is that you? You are unbelievably hard to kill. Are you aware of that? Danik, do you know about the moon? Do you know what it is? Part of the miraculous ecosystem, I assume. It's alive, Danik. It's hungry, and it isn't alone. If you turn off the machine, you'll set it free. And then it and all its brothers find our markers, find us, and wipe us out. How can you presume to know its intention? You fear it because you don't understand it. Danik, hear me out! Danik, are you listening to me? Motherfucker! I mean, the guy's been trying to kill you this entire time. Do you honestly think he'd start listening to you now? Is this not where this goes? Oh, it is. Oh, shit. <clears throat> like a plain, but like a plain butler. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? He's just very British. <laughs> Isaac, there he is. Danik, shoot them. 
Oh, God damn it. He's super posh. Extremely. Say goodbye to your brains, motherfuckers. I like me a good controlled explosion. Isaac, he's getting away. Hang on, I got a plan. Do you? I don't even have a plan. My thing is just putting batteries in explosives and watching them go poof. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Non-moving things like dead bodies or objects with telekinesis. That's why you can't grab the necromorphs when they're moving. I guess that's true. But still, that seems so odd that telekinesis would have that issue. Oh yeah, he definitely does. Oh, come on. Over here. I'm in a marker room. Oh hell. I'll meet you at the machine. Will you? How do you even know where to go? I don't even know where to go. I'm gonna get killed. Oh, come on! What the fuck is this thing all about? Oh god. That was my bad. I didn't dodge, or even try to dodge. What the fuck was that? Oh shit, I can actually kill this thing? Hell yeah! Suck my ass! The deep dig teams are some of our brightest archaeologists and soldiers. What happened to them down here has served as a cautionary tale to us all. What drove them to such extreme behavior, to such depravity and violence? I have sequestered their bodies in the oh, staging car. that's okay. There I hope to find the answers, not only <clears throat> to their demise, but to the workings of the artifact they discovered. What the hell is this thing? This looks dope as fuck. Alright, so if I touch this thing, are people going to start fucking with me? Oh. Oh no! That's not a good sign! I don't like it when things start yelling at me! Where am I going? Through here. Go! Down here? It is down here. Alright, let's just keep going. We're in zero G. Oh, can't fit through that. I can fit through this. Oh, a door. Ow. Right, I'm here. Is he just gone, gone? What the hell happened to him? Um... Oh no. Oh no. It's the ticks. So the telekinesis is going to be something for this, eh? Incredible, isn't it? I call this the promenade. One of the many conduits straight to the heart of the machine. Without huh? the codex, I can only speculate, but I suspect the machine needs to be opened for any changes to be made. I believe the monoliths on this plateau do just that. By standing on the special disc-shaped area on the floor, I've discovered I can use my kinesis module in a boosted capacity to manipulate them. The two hieroglyphics on the wall behind me indicate that one configuration will open the machine. Oh. Another will enact any changes to the internal programming. Once uh -oh. you get it open and have followed all of my research, you will need to return here to enact the final stage. 
Well, I might be accidentally doing it the right way. So that's that one, I think. Yeah, so that didn't do anything. So we gotta do it this way. Oh wait, no, do we? No, the inner ones are outside, so then these ones have to go out. Well, they have, they have disease on them and they'd probably kill it, but they aren't harmful to us. Ah, fair enough. Oh look, an alien anus. Yeah, no kidding, right? It's the one glory hole people don't want to take part in. Is that it? There we go. Nice. Okay, so that worked. <clears throat> or is it that the alien's glory hole? It's both, actually. The aliens really like their glory holes. Oh, okay. What's happening now? Oh! Okay. Oh, God. This isn't the city, Carver. All of this... This is the machine. Cool. Holy hell. Okay, uh, you're the engineer. How do we fix it? We'll follow Serrano's clues or we can figure the machine. I like the concept of the third one, too, but it, the it lost a lot of what Dead Space felt like. For the codex, that's where it'll be. So it's just not as terrifying. It feels like it's a really good Mass Effect game. That's the way I've always described it. Like, Dead Space 3, since I started playing it, has just felt like a really well-done version of... Oh, fuck. A really well-done version of Mass Effect. Oh no! There's two of them I gotta fight. This doesn't seem fair. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm gonna die. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, so this is the this is the cheat. It's a sec, uh, seasoned badass that makes it less scary. True, but like the thing is, is now I know how to really cheese this game. Apparently, if you just stay next to the elevator, you're fine. This doesn't seem fair that I can- Oh! Oh, he got tired of it! He's like, how dare you cheese this game? Ha <laughs> I can't believe that fucking worked! Wow! Alright! Well, I cheesed it. He seems confused. Well, now he's dead. But that- I- Uh, I'm shocked that that worked. Yeah, Dead Space 1 with the babies, Dead Space 2 with the children and the infants, and Dead Space 3 with the feeders, or the people who, who ate necromorph flesh. Exactly. And even the feeders are just a glorified version of, like, the weird children. Uh... So how is Dan- uh, what's his name? Donovan? Dan- 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 Dankin? Who? Donovan? What, what was this dude's name that was trying to get in here? Dead Space could have gone far, to be honest. It could have, uh, if EA didn't keep putting its nose in places it didn't belong. The preferred to grab you methods? That, that's, the, that's the one he's talking about. Davik, that's his name. How does Davik get here if he doesn't have those boots? Does he just put them on? I, he just doesn't have those boots, so I don't, I don't get how he's supposed to get through here. Did I get them all? <laughs> Ban him EA. <laughs> Davik's using wall hacks. 
Oh boy. That's a lot of ya. Reload real quick. There we go. That's not so bad. The meth heads are a little easier to deal with when my shotgun is a little farther away from them. I actually snuck past feeders whenever I could. Oh, I'll, I'll just kill them. Take all the uh, shit that I can from them. It'll probably show itself over here. Oh, but this has it too, but why? Hey, Carver. I'll bet this supercharging effect might let us TK the limbs right off Necromorphs while oh boy. they're still moving. That's great. Thanks oh, for the tip. That's why. What if I don't want to telekinesis it? I just want to hit him with my Chris Cannon. Is that it? So that's what they wanted me to do with the other one. Was take the arms right off of them right away. Oh, I see. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint, but I went the easy route. <laughs> he tried so hard. Ah! He tried so hard to be sneaky. It didn't work out for him. Let's, let's, let's do what it wanted me to do. Oh, you can just rip their arms off. Ooh, and right in the asshole. <laughs> you could say you disarmed him? Yeah, no kidding, right? <laughs> I, like the, I like the pun. Well played. Oh, jeez. 